action. Hey YouTube, it's Pat Love and Tripod. Hey guys. We're gonna make a quick contest entry for Neptune Knives, his second contest. Y'all know he won the first. Yeah, so I don't know. I was thinking I wasn't gonna enter this one, but uh, Neptune said, you know, feel free. So I am. This one's gonna be chosen randomly. So uh, what we're supposed to do is name one person that has supported us uh, since the very beginning. We looked it up on our first video, the very first comment. It was a hippie with knives. Mm -hmm. He's got a good channel and he's making knives now. So check him out. A hippie with knives. So he was the first comment and he still comments till this day. And I know you said just pick one. But there's been a ton of people. Uh, Wolf Brother 2501. He's Tough Thumbs. probably Tripod's biggest fan. He always comments. He is my biggest uh, fan. Tough Thumbs. Exacto did a lot of shout outs for us when we were first starting. Infidel. Uh, Gavco. Yeah, Infidel Extra. Orimoto, even. He commented it on a Tripod's camera work at the very beginning. Kissed me off. <laughs> it's all good now. He, don't, he said, I missed the old Tripod, you know, when we used the Tripod that Gavco sent. Yeah. Which I will use if she's not available. So we just like shooting it better this way. Uh, so a hippie with knives is the official answer. But there has been a ton of people... Have helped. The Lazy Spoiled Kitty helped us along the way. He yeah. was always one of the first to comment. Always cheering us on. Yeah, cheering us on. He's the one that came up with the tripod name. Yeah, he gave me my nickname. So, you know, there's we could do tons of thank you videos on each person. Uh, the second question was the first knife that you carried and what was the reason behind it. Um, as a kid, I have I had a few pocket knives that I was carrying. And then I kind of didn't carry for a long time. And then I got a job, a security job. It was a patrol. We, you know, drove around in a car and checked businesses. So my dad and I went out to the, it was a big sporting goods store, Shields, in South Dakota. And we picked up this one. It's a Gerber Easy Out, the skeleton ones. Like the other Easy Outs just have like an oval here. And we went with the combo edge for seatbelt cutting, you know, rescuing people out of car accidents. Um, you know, also maybe a little self-defense. It is a good size knife. There's a choil right there. Um, so after I got this, the security job didn't last long. I quit that place. It was a joke. Um, so I just used this at work. I think I had a factory job next. This works. These work awesome for those thick zip ties. You know, we had tons of sleeves of cardboard boxes that were zip tied together. So those work excellent for that. And I actually got six or seven stitches right here. I grabbed a zip tie like this and I would just chop like this at the zip tie and snap it off. But I hit my finger. Is that what you did when you were at Bell? Yeah. So check this out. Is this in camera right yes. here? Yes. So. You told me you hurt yourself on the machine. I did. The second time I cut this finger, the top of this finger. Oh. But I, I hit this finger and I felt the knife bounce off. And I didn't even look at it at first. I was like, oh no, that's going to be bad. <laughs> Dumbass. So, yeah. So quite a few stitches across that finger. It opened it right up. Um... And then I was at the hardware store with my dad, and this is the first quality knife that I got. The Leak. Oops, I didn't open that right. This is a Leak. You do notice it's not spring assisted right now. The torsion bar kept breaking. Kershaw. That's how he carried it for many years. It's beat all the hell. Yeah, this is my EDC, my only EDC, because I had this knife. And this knife, that was two knives I had. So I carried this one, I switched to this one. The spring assist was awesome. Uh, one thing on spring assist knives, I do like them to have a thumb stud in case the spring assist doesn't work anymore, then you still have a knife. So you can still open it. And it is a smaller knife, but 
I mean, it would be good for stabbing. So the reason I still carry is, you know, everyday cutting. I hate looking around for scissors, you know, to open, you know, packaging or a chip bag. I hate looking around for that shit. And, you know, self-defense if it came to it. You know, one-on-one -on -one it's okay, but when you have multiple people, you need some kind of advantage. So, that's the reason I still carry today. But, that's what started it. You know, rescue. So, I think that's it for this contest. Yeah. And I swear to God, guys, if, I, if he wins, I'll make him donate it to somebody. <laughs> Maybe I'll make it a pass around, so... So I can send it to you and you can play with it for a little bit. How about that? How about that? Really? You greedy guys. You me <laughs> <laughs> I know. I shouldn't even enter, huh? No, you can enter. Okay. Good luck, everybody. And everyone's cursing your name. <laughs> I know, right? Catch y'all later, boys. <laughs> Bye.